Come on, motherfucker! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! Yeah! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! How could you not see it? It's out in the open in a big bag. Why did he bring it anyway? Wait, was he gonna hold him hostage until he got a big enough fish? Give me that, you take this, and go get me my damn hot sauce. I have many questions about your intentions on this boat tonight, and one of them is, why'd you bring hot sauce but nothing to put on it? And that hot sauce, it looks like Tabasco Chipotle or maybe sweet and spicy? Maybe? I don't know. You see, this is what happens when you put way too much effort into some stupid contest that's not even going to matter anymore in the future, I right? What the fuck? They brought grenades? What the fuck were they planning to do on this boat? Look, I don't know how it survived a grenade in the mouth, but somehow it swims straight enough directly into the magic ghost cave. Somehow. So the spirit of the shark can manifest anywhere so long as there's water. That sounds familiar, actually. Where have I seen that before? Oh, yeah. Just the facts. Lighthouses traditionally have, like, big bulbs that shine brightly at night on stormy seas. You know, for ships that need to know where the land is. This ain't a lighthouse. Whoa, 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 it's only been about, like, 30 seconds movie time. How the hell did they get from here to here? The only way I can see it is if they came from the dock directly, but no, they free swam out there. Damn. Oh, so now you see the shark. You, m motherfucker, you pulled up right next to it and didn't even react. Wait a minute, why the hell is he swimming out further into the ocean? Wait, if the ghost shark is trying to kill everyone, then why is it stopping? It can manifest anywhere there's water, yet it, it just stops for whatever reason. You can't explain how a shark killed three people on the deck of a boat. In police work, the simplest explanation is usually the right one. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. Oh, there was a robbery in this house. Oh, look, there's someone running down the street. He must be the crook. Police work, let alone life is never that cut and dry. <laughs> uh, what just happened? Did the ghost shark just kill a dog? Because it sounded more like someone just, you know, shot it with a bow and arrow or something. This is why I don't go to parties and why I don't like parties. There's always that one guy who cuts a little too loose and becomes a chauvinistic pig. I said chauvinistic. Here's the logical thing to do. Don't sit there for 30 seconds watching the shark come toward you. Go to the exit ladder, not the diving board to get out of the water. Did y'all take a bad trait and start gnawing on each other? Gnawing on each other? You do realize that even drunk and high kids at a party would have better ideas how to kill people, like the classical broken bottle or the nine iron across the face, for instance. You know what? That's a good kill. Take off a sin, why don't you? <laughs> this kill, however, is just okay. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, <look at> <laughs> Dude, is 
Okay, so over 48 hours, the tide hasn't taken the corpse back out to sea. It hasn't been fed on by any other animal, and it's barely decomposed. Okay. Would you believe this is only the second time I've seen a girl get shark attacked in the bathtub? The other time was Nightmare Shark with a Hawaiian shark demon coming to the real world. Maybe in Piranha Sharks it was there too, I don't know. Ghost Shark, who I thought was on a revenge-filled rampage, not only dips out for hours on end, but spits people back out. Any water, right? So maybe it can't manifest itself unless there's water around. Maybe all we gotta do is stay dry and it'll leave us alone. Yeah, about that. You're made of water, she's made of water, he's made of water, there's water in the air. Practically nothing on this planet is not made of water. So, uh, you're fucked. Reason 312 why I hate cigarettes. Oh yeah, here it comes. The best kill of the movie. I'm gonna reset the sin counter for this one. fuck is this like angry little first grader and why, why does he have his own posse that means the spirit can be sent back to the netherworld by using a talisman made from the object that killed it so they're fucked because nothing that those guys in the beginning did killed the shark it had enough energy to swim into the cave and then died of blood loss so what now jump. we don't need to jump we are the chum you saw it manifest in someone's stomach and rip them in half and dissipate. What the fuck do you think chumming and shooting it's gonna do? This ain't a normal shark. Ah, fucking another cool kill. Um, fuck it. Put a negative on it. Like the Winchester brothers proven in Route Triple Six, when the soul is destroyed, that's it. How the hell does this shark come back after being stabbed? The cave. This feels like they just want an excuse to blow up the shark for a third time. I mean, you could burn it, remove the body. I mean, what this movie is telling us is that as long as the body is there, the shark is anchored to the cave. See, if it can manifest itself and stay manifested in rain, then why not just explode everyone's bodies from the inside? People are made of water, you know. Somehow, after having its soul destroyed once, and now its body destroyed, this shark somehow can still manifest its spirit for one last attack. Ah, crap.